Some friends are here by the Beis HaKnesset Rav Getz, the innermost synagogue and place you can go to be near the Kodesh HaKadoshim, a very, very holy place. So it's 83 meters from this point over here. Some say from the points right over here, but this is the closest you can get to the Holy of Holies and pray. And Rav Getz and, and the Jews, a couple dozen years ago, they broke through here. They were, went through the tunnel to get closer and closer, and there was another shul inside. And then the Arabs rioted, and they came, and this was closed over here, this wall. And this is the first we can get. But this remains as one of the holiest places, in literally the holiest place in the world that we can come and pray. Here's the Western Wall over here. And it continues down when you go and pray outside. It's it's another, uh, I guess, 200 feet that way, that direction. And the Kotel keeps going, going this way. This is it. This is the real deal. This is where I'm every day praying for Kalal Yisrael, uh, Hashem. I didn't ask to join such a minion here in the innermost uh, place. There's 12 of us that say the entire book of Tehillim every day. We learn the Rambam. I stay a little longer. I'm learning Gemara. We recite the entire Tehillim connecting to King David. And this minion is very special. The names are brought from around the world to pray for in this holy place. And so I'm big schluss to be here. So I try to stay as long as I can to learn my Gemara, to meditate, try to feel close to Hashem, to take your names, whoever writes me their names to pray for and this is a holy place and it's usually empty there's one person that stays here late I, I join him now a little bit later he stays many more hours I try to stay as long as I can until I, my family needs me and this is Mamash the most beautiful place we shall all be to, to, to merit to be in holy places to be around holy people this is what will change us. This will help us to draw close to God. So it doesn't take the first day of being here to be pure. You have to come and over and over and over again and, and, and break yourself. One tilim, one two tilim, three tilim, 150 tilim every single day or learning, whatever you're doing in your life, you have to break and break yourself, break all the bad midos and evil inclination. It takes time. It's not overnight. You have to not give up. And Eventually, you'll find the Shem, you'll find the MS in your life and everything you need. Thank you for joining me. I'll take you downstairs a second here so you can see a little bit more where you're at. Then we'll return up here. So, these are the steps you're used to when you take a tunnel tour. You can always come up here. So you're used to being down here. But it's really the same, we're just upstairs. These candles are always lit over here, every single day. And these are the tunnels. So you take the tunnel tour, you're over, usually down here. And I tell you, this is the closest spot. And I'm just upstairs in our minion. If you walk over here, the tunnel continues. And at the end over there is where the men's inner tunnel is, the men sit inside. Come all the way in here, you need special permission. Need special permission to be here. See the tunnel keeps going, 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 going. That's how far the, the Koto wall is going. And women usually sit out here to pray. You can see how deep the tunnel is, how far down it goes. And it's going up and up and up. It's all the miracle. So it's brought in the Talmud that all the tefillos of Klai Yisrael, the Jewish people, 
it all comes to this point here by the western wall and it goes up to the heavens so how great it is to be here at this, at this point when Beis Amigdash was destroyed Hashem left the Shechina here at the, the western wall so we can connect to him and now let's go back upstairs so this is where I am every day I'm just back in the synagogue over here. And if we go down the steps this way, it's a very unique tour you're getting. Then they have that newer synagogue. They spent millions of dollars to, to build over this way. going on over there and they just reconstructed down there and there's a brand new tour down the steps over that way and I have another video that I've done for that and here's the synagogue over here I'll just give you a quick peek I'll head back inside to learn These are new, we have bathrooms where there used to be. A year ago there was no bathrooms over here. You had to go outside from the tunnel and we're back going back up into the center of our gets. And here we are. So every morning at Wazikin at Nate's. There is a minion of Kabbalists that pray according to the Siddur Rashash. Here's their Siddurim over here. Siddur Rashash, which is our Kavanos in Kabbalah. So they daven with this every morning. It's about two hour davening. And other than that, our group of 12 people is the only uh, group that's in here the entire day. Um, here or there, people manage to get through. One or two people here or there to sit down and learn here. They get permission, but uh, generally there's just us, 12 people that are blessed to be in this, this holy place. And this is where I sit every day, my Makam Kavua. There's my stuff, disorganized, and this is my spot I pray in. Rev Getz, who uh, was what, the holy rabbi that built this synagogue, so he would always pray in this spot which is right next to where I pray. And I would always sit in that chair over there. According to the Rambam, which we were learning in the Kolel, could be that the spot over here would be the, uh, straight across could be the, the holiest spots. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's debatable. We don't really know exactly. And Hashem put me here. So to me, this is the holy spots. And that that concludes the uh, tour. This is where I am. This is what I'm doing every day. And now, as you see, it's quiet now. I have the whole place to myself. And just one other person usually stays. Very nice uh, gentleman. A big blessing. And I'm happy to share it with you. Shalom from the Western Wall, the, the tunnels, and the holiest place. All the best.